perfect thing for the holidays. If you're gonna be having company, you definitely wanna make this because your house will smell unbelievable and it's also delicious. Hey guys, it's Christy. Welcome to my channel. It's a beautiful fall afternoon. It's a Sunday afternoon and I'm feeling all of the cozy vibes today. The moms in the backyard are in full bloom. I absolutely love the warm, rich colors. And I thought, what a better way to spend this Sunday afternoon than to do a little bit of cooking. Whitney's on his way home right now from a golf trip where they've been doing this for like 15 years where they go every year. They weren't able to go last year because of everything going on in the world. So they were really looking forward to this trip. They had the best time and now he's on his way home. So I thought it would be a fun thing to welcome him home tonight and in the morning with the house smelling amazing. So it'll be all the fall smells and it's going to be a delicious breakfast for him to wake up to in the morning after his long week away and the long drive that he's had today. So I am going to be making one of our fall favorites, apple cinnamon oatmeal, and I'm doing it in the crock pot. So it is super easy. It could not be easier to make. And I'm also gonna be making one of my favorite fall things of all times are my stewed apples. I already have a video making that, but I'm gonna show you again how I make that. So that'll be our topping for our oatmeal. And I'm also gonna be sharing with you some other variations you could do if you wanted to change it up. And I'll just give you some ideas for that and also some ideas for some other toppings if you prefer. But this afternoon, I'm just gonna cozy it up while I'm waiting for Whitney to get home. We'll do a little bit of cooking together. I'm so excited you're here to join me for it. Before I get started, I wanted to set the mood. So I've turned on some calming autumn music. This is the Calm Your Soul playlist by Indie Fox Music on YouTube. And one of the things I love about their channel is just the scenery. Look at how it changes. So all of their fall music I have been loving lately. I told you about a different channel the other day, but this is my new favorite one because the music is great and I absolutely love the scenery. Now that I've got the music done and I poured my kombucha, I'm ready to get to cooking. But I did wanna share this with you. This is my favorite new kombucha. This is the Brew Doctor is the brand and I love all of their flavors, but this one is a seasonal for fall and it's the crisp apple and I have really been enjoying them. In fact, I'm stocking up on these because I like it so much. So I wanna get as many as I can while they have them in stock. So I'm gonna enjoy my kombucha. I'm gonna get the house smelling like apples and cinnamon with our topping. And the best thing about this topping is you can prepare it ahead like I'm doing today. And then tonight I'm gonna do my crock pot oatmeal and that'll be ready in the morning. And our topping will already be done in the fridge, ready to go. This video is a collab with my friend Leanne from Leanne's Life where she does a lot of cooking and planning and just life videos. She does a little bit of decorating and cleaning on her channel as well. So I love her crock pot recipes. She's been doing Crocktober, making lots of crock pot recipes. So definitely go over to her channel and check it out when you're done. She's going to be making two delicious desserts for you today. I will have Leanne's channel linked in the description box below. So when you're done watching my video, you can hop right on over there and see what dessert she has in store for you. The stewed apples that we're making for the topping are so easy. The hardest part of the recipe is just peeling the apples because you want to make sure you get all of the peels off. So that's always the first thing I do. And then from there on, it's just simple. So by turning on the music, having my kombucha, it just makes this whole part of peeling all the apples, such a relaxing thing to do. And then once we get this on the stove and cooking, the house is gonna start to smell like apples and cinnamon. And that's one of my favorite fall flavors. 
What is your fall flavor? Are you more of an apple cinnamon person? Or do you prefer pumpkin or just cinnamon? What is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. You say let's jump on a bus and take a ride downtown. Well, I don't know about that. But can you help me first to get these boxes down? Well, I don't know about that. We have the whole day now just to ourselves So we can clean the house or clear out some shelves You said whichever you feel like doing first I said, well, I don't know about that Cause it's my lazy day, just wanna lazy away Ain't gonna do a thing for the rest of the day You can try to seduce me, make me wanna play Look who made it home! So he got back a little bit ago and he's all ready for the house to start smelling good with the apples. I just finished getting them peeled and chopped and ready to go. And you can see little Lacey back here in the background, just uh, eating on her little bone back there. <laughs> you gonna tell him hi or you just gonna wave? <laughs> Lacey, you wanna tell everybody hi? Say hi. Did you miss daddy? You did? Is that bone good? Oh, is that marrow bone good? Yes, it is. All right, so I've got the apples all ready to go. They're all peeled and chopped. So I've got my water here that I'm gonna be adding. And the only other ingredient that I'm adding at this point is some cinnamon. So I'm gonna add a ton of cinnamon because I like a lot. You can do as much or as little as you want to. I kind of cook by just how I like it. Um, but I think if you were going to measure, I would probably do maybe a fourth to a half of a teaspoon of cinnamon um, for this amount of apples, which is probably, I didn't count, but I would say it was about seven to eight smaller apples. So like I said, I'm pretty generous with my cinnamon. I just dump and go because I like a lot. And then you're going to just want to stir it all together. I like to mix it up really good. If you wanted to add sweetener to this, you could add some maple syrup or something at this point. I don't add any because I think it's easier just to add it at the end if I feel like it needs it. And I usually don't even feel like it needs any sweetener. And I'm only adding about a fourth of a cup of water. You want to go lower on the water because they'll produce a lot of their own. In fact, I'm not even going to put quite all of that in there. And you can always add more because I know sometimes I end up having to cook out the water because it ends up being too much because of all that cooks out of the apples. So now all I'm going to do is cover this and turn it on medium high. That's Lacey in the background wanting to play. And now we're just going to let it sit and it should take about 15 to 20 minutes for these to cook up. And I'll probably come back a couple of times throughout and maybe add a little more cinnamon. I will stir and check as I go, but in about 15 to 20 minutes, they'll be ready. There's a whole full of all the things we can do, but I want to do none. Wish that you did too. So you can just keep trying and I'll just keep saying I don't know about that Cause it's my lazy day, just wanna lazy away Ain't gonna do a thing for the rest of the day You can try to The apples are starting to cook down. You can see some of them are starting to get soft. And that's exactly what you want. You're gonna wanna cook it until it's soft, but they're still holding their shape. So they still have a little ways to go, but they're getting close. And I've added cinnamon once, and I think I'm good on the cinnamon. And again, if you wanted to add some maple syrup or something brown sugar, you could, but I like to do them like this and then add that at the end, like I said before. So I'm gonna let these cook a little bit longer and then I think they'll be ready to go. Oh, and by the way, when you're cooking this, do not turn your vent on because you're gonna want all of these smells to fill your house. It just smells like apples and cinnamon and it's just the most delicious smell you can imagine and it fills up the whole house. The apples are done, they're soft yet, they still have their shape and they still have a slight firmness to them. This is how I like them so that when you go to eat them, they still have a little bit of 
of bite to them but they're soft enough to eat and be absolutely delicious. And you can see the amount of water. I added a little bit to what I had just a tad when I was cooking. So you definitely wanna to check to see if you either have too much water, or you can let it boil out, or if you don't have enough water, then you can just add a little bit more. So these are perfect. Carve your name next to mine on that big oak tree. It's how you want it to be. You bring me things from the store and put it at my front door. The apples are done. I was able to get a container and a half. So these are going to go in the refrigerator and then tomorrow they are going to be so delicious on top of our oatmeal. And I'm gonna be back later tonight to put the oatmeal together for you in the crock pot. And I'll turn it on just before we go to bed and it's gonna be so delicious. But I did wanna tell you a couple things about these apples. You can freeze these and use them however you like over the next couple of months and they will be delicious. Although ours never last long enough to put in the freezer. I have to do really big batches for that but you can also eat these over yogurt. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm looking forward to trying some of these over yogurt. And then you could also add like some chocolate chips to these and that would be good. A lot of times I will make a bowl of these and just eat the apples with some chopped pecans. And I bet I haven't tried the chocolate chips with the pecans, but I bet that would be really good too. So many things that you can do with these apples. So that's why it is one of my staples every fall. And little baby girl was over here taking a little nap. Looks like she heard me talking and woke up. We're about to say goodbye for now and we'll be back tonight to finish the oatmeal. It's a few hours later and I'm gonna go ahead and prep my crock pot with all of my dry ingredients. And then I will come back and add all the wet ingredients right before it's time for bed. So this oatmeal is so easy to make and it's great for crowds. If you have company coming through the holidays, this would be a really simple thing to make that is delicious and everybody will love it. And there's so many different variations that you can do with it. All you need for your dry ingredients are some steel cut oats and you definitely want steel cut and you want the regular ones, not quick cooking. And then some salt. That's the only things that are not optional, but optional, I'm gonna add some cranberries to help sweeten it and just give a little bit of extra flavor and some chia seeds, and that's just for a little extra nutrition, but you can totally leave this out. You could add flax seed or hemp seed or whatever thing like that that you like. And then a later, right before bed, I'm gonna come back and add the wet ingredients. So I'll have some water, um, I'll end up doing four cups of water and then two cups of almond milk. You can use whatever kind of milk you want. I'm going to make this apple and cranberry oatmeal. So I'm going to come back and peel and then dice up these two apples and I'll add that with the wet ingredients. And then I'm also going to add some vanilla. So I'll do all that right before bed and that'll just take a couple of minutes. So I love how you're able to prep all of this ahead of time and then just come in right before bed and put in your wet ingredients and you're good to go. I'm adding a cup and a half of steel cut oats. I'm adding half a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna add a fourth of a cup of the dried cranberries and I make it heaping. Um, and you can add a little more or a little less, whatever you like. And then for the last part of the dry ingredients, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of chia seeds. And I actually forgot one of the dry ingredients, which is actually one of the stars of the show. This is cinnamon apple um, oatmeal, so we need the cinnamon. So I have that, and I don't measure my cinnamon just like with the apples. I just pour it in, and I like a lot. So I'm gonna put some in the dry ingredients 
And then when I put the wet, I might add a little bit more, but you could add this either with the wet or the dry ingredients. Now, all I'm gonna do is give this a little stir and then mix it up good and it'll be ready. And then all I have to do is come back in a little bit later and add in all of my wet ingredients. Sometimes this have happened before, not that I'm keeping school. Back and it is time to go ahead and add in all of our wet ingredients and get this started in the slow cooker to cook overnight. So I have two apples that I just peeled and diced and then I'm going to add four cups of water, two cups of almond milk and a teaspoon of vanilla. And I did decide to go ahead and add a little bit of nutmeg to this as well. I thought that would be good. And I have my cinnamon. I may add just a little bit more. It's smelling a lot like cinnamon from what I've already added to the dry ingredients. So I'm probably gonna add a little bit, we'll see. I Like I said, I like a lot of cinnamon. So you be the judge of what you like. Um, and just kind of play it by ear. And this is a great recipe that is so versatile. You can do so many different things with this recipe. So you could even add in some pumpkin if you wanted to um, into this. I'm leaving out the pumpkin this time, but that would actually make a really good addition to this if you wanted to add some. You're mine. If you ever feeling blue, Rest assured, I've been there too. We just pick up where we left off, then we tow the line. That's fine. Sunday breakfast in bed. Strawberry jam on some bread. And if you feel like doing anything today, then go ahead. I just lay here instead. I'm gonna cook this on low for eight hours and I can't wait to wake up in the morning. I'm sure the smell is gonna wake us up uh, before the alarm clock even goes off. So eight hours overnight and I cannot wait to get into this tomorrow morning. My little helper fell asleep on the job. She's so cute. She was snoring just a minute ago. I think I woke her though, cause I was trying to film her and I think it woke her a little bit, but she's precious. She was helping me out, watching me do everything until she just couldn't go anymore. It's morning and we woke up to the most fantastic aroma in the house. This smells so good. So I can't wait to dig into it. It smells like apples and cinnamon and all the good things. I do the same for you, just like I'm supposed to do. I'm yours, you're mine. If you ever feeling blue, rest assured I've been there too. We just pick up where we left off, then we tow the line. That's fine. When I got up this morning, I just turned it to warm and then I've got my toppings ready. So I'm gonna show you what we're doing for toppings and then we are gonna dig into this. The toppings are where you can just go wild and whatever you imagine, you can use it for toppings. We're gonna do some of the stewed apples that I made last night. I always like chopped pecans on this. It's really good. Whitney wants some brown sugar, so I have him some brown sugar here. And then I'm gonna have a little bit of maple syrup on mine, just a drizzle. And then just in case we wanted to add a couple more cranberries, I thought that would be good. But again, you could add pumpkin into this. If you just had some canned pumpkin, just add a tablespoon and mix it in. And I think that would be delicious too. Like I said, whatever you can imagine, you can put as toppings. We could add some more chia seeds on top, pretty much whatever you want. So if you've ever had this, let me know what kind of toppings you like on it. So Lacey's over here having herself a good morning too. So we're about to serve this up. I can't wait and we're gonna give it a try. Now didn't we say one o'clock? 
Whitney's already started and I can't wait to dig into mine. Doesn't this look delicious? If you end up making this, I would love for you to tag me on Instagram and show me a picture. Let me know how you liked it. This is the perfect thing for the holidays. If you're going to be having company, you definitely want to make this because your house will smell unbelievable and it's also delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this. Remember to go check out Leanne's channel. I have the link in the description box. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, do all the things. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Has arrived and all I want to do is sit out here and enjoy it we don't get this very often it feels so good with the cool wind and then just hearing the rain even though it's not raining very hard I still love the sound of it so I think I might just cozy up out here on the couch I finally did put my fall pillows out here